Hey guys, uh, this is Tom Crandall from 10ksteptodaily.com. And so this is week number three uh, doing a hill repeats. Uh, so this week I did nine hill repeats and behind me is the hill that I've been running on. You can sort of see it down there. So today what I did was I ended up uh, running an extra mile in my warm up. So basically what I did was I ran around what we call Town Lake here in Austin and uh, I tried to keep it under eight minutes and above seven minutes. So somewhere around 705, 710 pace is what I like to do for sort of a warm up. It's I guess more than a warm up, it's sort of a, a medium run for me. Um, and this week, actually last Friday, had a really good run and ended up in training going under six minutes for a mile on this course that I've been running for probably about a year now and so that's my fastest time on on that course it's a run we call the bomb run but anyway so with this uh, week three now uh, I'm feeling it a little bit in my arms after doing the workout this morning uh, my quads are feeling it motivations getting a little tougher because now what's happening is uh, I'm getting past that five reps that I did when I first started out and then I moved into seven reps and now I'm at nine reps so at uh, five I started feeling like my motivation was a little lacking and so what I did was I started trying to figure out okay how can I get up this hill and still maintain my motivation so what I did is I started playing around with it and what I found was if I picked a, a certain spot on the hill and maybe focused on a uh, quick turnover and then once I passed whatever I was the mark I was looking at then started uh, lengthening my stride and practice doing that it made the whole session go a lot faster and so that ended up being really cool uh, so uh, this week you know you're always learning things when you're working out you're figuring out your body and what it's doing um, and some days you, you might not have a good day and other days you have a great day and I think today was a great day but uh, one of the things I've, I've noticed in the last three weeks is I feel like I have a little bit more uh, strength when I hit the hills especially last Friday we have a run called the bomb run and I noticed that when I was climbing the hills I felt like I had a little bit more power it could have just been a mental thing um, but I was able to stay up with a guy that typically I probably, you know, a few weeks prior wouldn't have been able to stay up with. And so I, I feel like the, the hill work's starting to pay off now. And I expect that this Friday will be the same thing. Uh, the, the difficulty I'm having is I, I don't think I recover as well as I did back when I was 30 or 40 years old. So I'll be 51 uh, this May. And so my recovery just is a little longer and I, I feel a little more tired <laughs> during the day. Today though, uh, I felt pretty good. Um, I wasn't too, too tired. And my, a lot of times when I work out really hard, I start losing my voice. Uh, but today I don't think I lost my voice, so that's a really good thing. So anyway, I'll, I'll keep on doing these videos and try to give you some insights into things that I'm discovering as I do these hill workouts and you know please comment and tell me uh, what you're discovering when you're doing hill workout and you know maybe we can talk about it and I can add some reviews and things like that post some stuff on the website to help other people as they uh, you know discover new things about what they're doing but anyway I hope these six weeks will help you out and uh, hopefully by the end of the six weeks I'll be maybe I should sign up for a race or something like that and see how I do right the last race I did was a half uh, half marathon here in Austin and I ended up running uh, like a 640 pace which I thought was pretty good um, it, actually I guess sorry scratch that it was a 650 pace but the last 11 miles of it it's an uphill start so the last 11 were around 640 but the the, the start of it was slower they're probably around seven minute uh, pace going uphill 
So um, I'll also post uh, some of my daily activities so you can see my, my pace and what I'm running so you can adjust your workout accordingly to your pace. Um, because, you know, even if you're a person who runs 9 minute, 10 minute miles, you can still do this hill workout and it's going to be great for you and it's going to give you a lot of strength. So anyway, please subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. Um, that's going to help us get uh, products to review and also help us just talk to manufacturers and things like that and sort of motivate us to put out more videos. So anyway, I uh, hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, week number three is down, so next week I got to do uh, 11 uh, of these and that's going to be tough. Uh, maybe I'll get Kathleen out here to help motivate me to get me up the hill because doing 11 repeats on this uh, Long Hills it, it's, it's going to be tough. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.